Eric Chen here with another Gunplow review. This is the high grade 1 to 144 00 Gundam from the series Gundam 00. This suit is piloted by Setsuna FSA in season 2. Here is runner plate A with red, gray, yellow, and clear pieces. Here's plate B with all white pieces. And plate C with blue pieces. And here are the poly caps. It also comes with some foil stickers. I wish they had yellow V fins instead of yellow stickers. There are some tabs on the fin as well as the chest piece. While in the anime, there are no tabs on the fin and the chest piece. I ended up clipping the tabs. The results are not perfect, but I think it looks a lot better than before. I decided not to use the fin stickers since it does not wrap around the entire fin and hopefully I will be able to paint them in the future with a yellow Gundam marker. Here you can see that I messed up assembling the elbow joint because there is some dust underneath the clear piece. There are four weapons. There are two GN Sword Mark II's that can switch into GN Rifle Mark II's as well as two empty beam saber hilts. In order to get beam effects for your beam sabers you need to buy the 00 riser or the 007 swords or use a master grade beam. It comes with three hands, two fists and an open hand. A problem that plagues many kits, the hands do not grip the weapons properly. The GN swords can also go on the waist skirts. The head can rotate 360 degrees. The waist can rotate 360 degrees. The double O Gundam can do a split. The elbow bends around 91 degrees. The arms and hands rotate 360 degrees. The knee is double jointed so you can achieve uh, around 180 degrees of articulation. The feet can rotate 360 degrees. The twin GN drives can rotate as well. My final thoughts for this kit. Overall it has some amazing articulation but a bit lacking in the accessories department. It also has a nice slim design allowing it to balance easily. With the great articulation and balance you can achieve some crazy poses. If you just want the double O Gundam get this kit but if you want the O riser as well as the beam effects and the GM Blade 3 I would suggest you get the double O riser plus GM Blade 3 or the Trans Am riser. You could also get the 007 swords for more weapons if you do not like the O-Riser. Personally, I like this kit a lot. So much that I am going to pick up the 00 riser plus GM Blade 3 as well as the 007 swords and the O-Riser, of course, later on. And that concludes my review. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. Feel free to post any opinions or questions about this kit. That's it for now. Until the next video.